What's up, everybody? Sparewood Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off, we were working on the multi-ship again. Um, and we had managed to configure... I can't... I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. Um, there might be a rattle. I don't know why, but my, my computer's graphic card fan is rattling for some reason. It's probably not good, but it's whatever. So I hope you can't hear it. If you do, sorry. I'll try and get it out in post-editing. <laughs> um, let's see if I can't find a good play good way to dock these. I think under is probably going to be the best approach. I think. Something like this. Okay, and that's also disengaged those. Merge block ship can be turned off. Out and back up. Alright. Oh, and it's doing this thing again. Stop it! I hate this. I don't know why it does this. It's like completely locked me in to this one stupid thing for some reason. I don't know why. This is really annoying, though. Um, connector 1. Off. No. Is it 2? No. Wait. I thought I just turned... Oh, that's right. It's not... It's not on or off. You have to, like, unlock them. Or something. What the heck, dude? Let me... There we go. I don't know why they keep doing that. It's really weird. Alright. So, to... It sounded like something blew up. So today's episode, what we're going to try and do is... I don't know if we figured out if this would work or not. Um, let's go for the weapons. How's that? Uh, merge blocks. I need merge blocks. I've also got batteries, because this is taking place after the update that included batteries. Um, go figure. How else would I have batteries? Wait, why are you not letting me place now? Oh, because they're off. Never mind. I got it. I got it. Don't jump on... Jump, don't jump down my throat. Um... Oh, 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 oh. That, that will not do simply will not do. Alright, everything else looks fine. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna need those. Um, what else? What else? We're gonna need maybe some cargo? Some cargo space? Possibly? Possibly? Um, ba 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 Wow, I'm looking right at it. There it is. So let's do a cargo row, a connector system, and let's do our typical situation here where we do this. For now, we'll do something like that, right? Wait, no. Other way. Here. Whoa, what is... Stop it. There we go. Wait, no, I made the drills and the grinders backwards. Those have the... I think I, you know, in hindsight, it's probably why I did it that way. I think I like the landing gears on the inside better. It seems like they'd be more defended that way. Might just be me. Why can I only do four? That's so weird. Sometimes this game just does some weird stuff. I um, guess that's the price you pay for it being an alpha. Okay, so that's all connected. Now, so this is the main module. You know, in truth, I could probably just, like, copy and paste from here up. Could you do- no, no, that won't work. Never mind. I was gonna say, can I just duplicate this? Because this is pretty much how I'm starting all of them. Um, 
All right. And I think I might have another idea for the grinder one, so we're just going to get rid of all this. There we go. We'll, we'll work on another grinder system later. Okay. I don't really think I've been needing this much of those blocks anymore, so let's do... Chain guns and missiles. Now, the chain guns we're definitely going to want here. And maybe, like, here. Because those can cross-feed into each other, but also receive from the back. The only problem with this system is missiles. Missiles... currently... have no means of... auto-loading. Which is unfortunate. Can we put them, like, here? Just on each side. That's... That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. And that would keep them flush to where they don't run into anything. Um, and we could do... For aesthetic purposes, right? We could do... Something... Like this. Maybe. We don't want to go any further back because then we'll be wrapping around over the thruster and that would not likely end well, but we could do something like this. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It gives it some style. I like it. Alright. Let's test it. Right. <laughs> I've got guns. Weapon systems armed. We do get a bit of recoil with this many chain guns, though. What the firepower? Alright, no explosions or blowing each other up. That's good. Now, hmm, I'm gonna copy this first. <laughs> Before I blow us all to kingdom come. One of the things that I've encountered a couple times in the Inspiration series, and a few of, the, uh, of you guys that watch my stuff have commented on, is that when you fire... Like, the chain guns don't do it that much, but if you fire the missiles in turn, if there's any kind of, like... Uh, the best way I can explain it is to show it. If there's any kind of, like, barrier like this that sticks out further, and you turn... It's, it would be like this missile. You'd fire it, but as it's coming out, if you turn the ship this way, the missile would hit this piece and blow it up. So what I want to test is to see if ours is compatible that we can turn and fire. Okay, we can because there's nothing blocking the barrels on the side. You can actually spin. Okay, cool. So that's pretty neat. We still don't have the functionality for auto-loading, though, which is kind of depressing. But still, that seems like a pretty good weapon system. Um, what I'm going to do here is disengage connectors. Wait, no. I always get this mixed up. Which one is which? Okay, let me let me grab a antenna real quick. Cause I want to be able to do the show on HUD thing. Um six and actually just grab all of these. Show on HUD. Alright, so six and seven are the ones above. One and two are the mains, three is the bottom. That's what I thought. I just wasn't wasn't positive. So six and seven. We want to unlock and disable. And then we can get rid of these. Although, we could probably put an antenna somewhere. That would be kind of neat. Alright, so let's go ahead. Kind of keeping in the same fashion here. And dock these. The reason I did it this way is then when I hit P, those should not have engaged. But they did, which is awesome. Okay. Well, I 
We just have three. We don't need three. Let's turn them on and unlock them. And then merge blocks for the ship. Turn off. Alright. And we leave in peace. Awesome. Actually, you know what? I want to do that differently. Okay. The reason I want to do that differently is because these are no longer connected. Wait, now I have two. Great! Awesome. I have no idea. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um... Oh wait, no, I just... Let's turn them on. Why is it... Why are some grayed out? Why is connector 3... Oh, it has nothing around it, okay. So let's just unlock them, how's that? In theory, that should do the same thing. Yes, okay. And let's go ahead and make these a group. Ship merge blocks. Actually, let's do merge blocks ship. There we go. And let's do connectors two and th no, one and two is um, connector ships. Or no, connector ship. And that way I can just automatically disengage those without having to go through a bunch of stuff. Alright, so we have weapons, we have drills. So the next step, one thing I wanted to do here also, this might seem a little odd, but, excuse me, it's mostly because of the recent patch that added batteries, right? I kind of want to do a battery kit just in case on the off chance um, you know that you ran out of power you could like recharge it real quick type of thing so what I'm gonna do is put a con I don't know if the connector is needed this is something I'm not sure about the reason I'm doing it is because I know connectors will allow electricity to pass through them but I don't know that is required or not for electricity to pass through. Let's turn that off, put one there, and then let's see if we can get away with this. We cannot. We'll do two there. Nope. And two there. And then, um... Let's put a connector here, and the reason I'm doing that, this may seem odd, but it is because it's going to need some way to power itself, or get power, I should say. And so this way we can land in gear to something that has another connector that would fit like this. Well, you get the idea. I can't do it, but it would fit between the, the landing gear and allow it to charge through some solar panel system or something or other. Um, so that would work. We don't really need that one anymore. Get rid of that. We have our backup ship over there. Okay. Wait a minute. How did I do that? Oh, there we go. That's the problem. So I could do one all the way across. There we go. So that would be like your emergency charging kit. You know, if you ran out of ran out of power. Not super needed, but I think it'd be cool. And um I'm kind of really into spaceship stuff at the moment. Um recently I've been watching a lot of Star Trek movies. So I'm kind of into spaceships at the moment. Oh, merge blocks are just on and off. Connectors unlock. Why, why can't I go anywhere? I turned my merge blocks off. So 
why can't I go anywhere? Connectors. Lock, unlock. Me, nine, ten. They're disengaged. And the merge blocks are off. Why can't I not go anywhere? What the heck? What did I do? I attached something to the ship that now won't go off. That's probably what I did. Let's see what I did. Is it this connector? That is holding the ship in place. Or did these get attached to something as part of the ship? No, I think it was that connector. Why can't it go anywhere? The merge blocks should be disengaged. That's not what's holding it in place. There's something that's actually attached to the ship. Awesome. On... So what do I have that's physically attached to the ship? This thing. Gotta be. Come on. It's gotta be that thing. What the heck, dude? What is holding me in place? There's nothing touching the actual ship. The landing... I don't... I don't understand. I really don't understand. I don't get it. These are off. Wait, what just happened? I'm confused. What just happened? Okay. Alright, those are disengaged. Merge blocks. Off. Wow, okay, that worked. Get away from there. So now I probably could add the extra battery back and the connector back if I needed to. Because now I know that it's actually adding it to the merge block setup. So that you might want to build on your own. Um, Alright, so let's see if we can do... Oh, right. I hate that. On. Those are on. Okay, good. Okay. We got those. Now this is going to be for a grinder. So, we're going to need containers. A grinder. Now this part, I... This makes me nervous. I don't know whether or not these will be able to take what I'm wanting them to. So what I'm going to do here is put these here mostly for connectivity but also for secondary storage. Place these down. Now we've got a big opening here. So what I need is something like this. Right? And then we'll put the grinders here. This way I kind of know it's going to get everything that it needs. But you can tell that we have a bit of a issue here. Actually, no. That's not what I need. I don't need a conveyor tube. I need a medium crate with the medium side. Wait a minute. This makes no sense. This makes no sense. That makes no sense. Why would you put the, both of the medium sized openings in line? That... They're just trying to make my life hard now. Okay. Um... This is going to be, like, the largest looking system ever. Like, the biggest grinder arms of all time. 
That looks ridiculous. Um, okay, so now what we're going to need to do is build up to here, or here, and put landing gears there, which looks re completely retarded, but I really don't know what else to do with it, other than to build it up. So that it doesn't look completely stupid. Let's add some tubing. Somewhat for aesthetics, somewhat for connectivity. Alright, and Yeah. That should probably work. I, I don't know. That looks really dumb. But I don't know what else to do with it. Because we need landing gears at a proper height. We need some storage. And we need it to be able to connect and get all of the parts. And that's really all I can think to do with it. Um... Yeah, that'll have to do. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Let's find... Actually, I think I'm going to end the episode on this note here. Next time, what we might do is either build it, or I might have come up with more arm types. Like, we need to do a welding one. I know that. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we could do interchangeable arm-wise. Maybe, um... Maybe we could do one that's like an assembly arm system, right? Like an emergency portable crafter thing? I don't know. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!